crash place? You fell off the... Hey guys, what's up? It's Wild Fisher coming at you with a video of all my airsoft gear. I'm going to be going through a few things uh, with you, all my airsoft gear, that I don't go into really any battles for airsoft. I don't sign up for any of them. I just do backyard ones. I haven't done one of any of in a while. I'm just going to straighten you guys out a little. It's a little crooked. There we go. So, I'm going to go over one by one with you. First, I'm going to show you my primary weapon. This is my MP7 um, airsoft um, semi-auto to full-auto uh, airsoft gun. It's like, it works perfectly. The mag doesn't stay in. It's kind of broken. But the stock is extendable. I keep it out far, or you can go really low, far in. But this thing has a full metal mag except for the bottom half. The bottom half where it stores the BBs is just plastic. Um, but the top half is metal. The gun is pretty much a really hard plastic. Um, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty sturdy though. It's really durable. I've dropped it a couple times and it still works fine. I have to get a new mag or get this thing fixed. It still shoots. But I'm not, I don't have the battery in it at the time. It's a five hour lasting battery. Um, battery port is in the front of the gun. So you take the barrel off. And that's, it goes in there. And it easily clips on. Somehow. <laughs> there we go. It's in here. This, you can, you can take off the handle, your choice. You just take off the front and slide it off, but I keep it on, and there are different choices for, you can uh, do iron sights, or you can fold them up to get light sights. So that's pretty cool. It's really uh, durable, like I said. It has full auto, single fire, and safety. Choose your half up. Um, take the mag out with this little switch like here. You guys can't probably see it. But uh, that's my uh, MP7 primary gun. And yesterday I did a video on my secondary. I have a few secondaries. I have a smaller one that goes with a holster, but I don't have it right now. I have the clear one. But normally I wouldn't be using the clear one, just for safety reasons. I'm using uh, the plastic, the clear one. But usually I'd be using the spray painted one, just because in airsoft wars, you, this isn't probably the best gun, just because it's spring operated. And you just cock it back, fire, and there's nothing in this. It's got safety. I did a full review, so yesterday so go check out that video um yeah it's really cool the it's full all plastic except for right here that's metal or something it's got full plastic mag they're very kind of cheap those cheap old mags holds a, couple, a lot of bullets easily slide it in and it's got the orange tip it's just a nice um, sidearm that I got, so uh, I'll probably be getting another one later on, but uh, yeah. So I also have this holster for a smaller sidearm I have. It's a little Colt, very small. No, I don't really use that much. I got a speed loader. Speed loaders are great for these kind of mags because you just open them up like that and then stick it in and all the bullets in. Sorry, I got like my chest is kind of hurting. It's all bruised and 
Yep. Ouch. But, um, speed loader. It's always good to have. I don't bring this with me, but, um, this is all my BBs. I have a huge bucket. It came with the Colt. It had a Colt inside of it when I got it for my birthday about a year ago. But that was cool. This is my airsoft mask. It's just full front face. It's got the head cover, so I'll put it on for you. I don't know if you can hear me in it, but um, it does get pretty fogged up, so it has a ton of holes, but they're not big enough, so you might need to poke some more. But it keeps it cool, too, because it's not super hot inside of it. But it's a really cool mask. And it's my airsoft mask. It's got the camo. Um, then I got my boonie cap. I wear this most of the time during airsoft wars with just goggles. Like some, sun some uh, glasses. But... That's what I'd use it for. If you can hear my dog barking in the background, I don't know if you can, but that's just my dog. So, then it's got the wood, the camo. Then I got an extra um, grip for my gun. And then I got a ghillie suit. Normally, I'd use single fire for my MP7 if I was going to wear the ghillie suit, but uh, hopefully I can get a sniper rifle for my birthday or something. I really don't need one because I, I never really use theirs of stuff much. But this is the mask. Slides right on. But I tend to not use the mask because it's really bulky and just you can just got the screen. I don't really like the mask though. Like if I was if I was wearing the ghillie suit I'd wear this boonie cap with it. So you got the shirt, shirt for it. You got the pants. Um, I'll give you guys a close up of all this stuff. First, we got the pistol. As you can see, we got this uh, holster. Pretty durable. It was actually. Got, we got it for pretty cheap money. Spring loader, uh, speed loader, I mean. Another extra grip. MP7 mag. MP7. Ammo. My airsoft mask. Boonie cap. And ghillie suit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my airsoft gear. Um, hopefully I can do future uploads of my more airsoft stuff. or But probably more fishing is coming up. Uh, maybe some more reviews and vlogs. So, this is Wild Fisher and I'll see you guys on the next video. Please like and subscribe and see you guys later.